This fly is called the peacock sparrow. Um, this fly is a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger. It's a, it's tied on a 3906B, size 10. I'm going to pinch the barb down, and we're going to stick it in the vise. It's an excellent fly to use, uh, you know, early in the season. Uh, on this fly, we're going to use uh, some hackle from a, uh, uh, from a ringneck uh, pheasant that's dyed black. And what we do is we dye that black, and then we take the after shaft that's behind, uh, behind the feathers, and we dye that black also. Uh, so, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know anywhere that you can that you can purchase uh, this material uh, in this particular color uh, unless you're going to dye it. So, good luck with that. Uh, first thing we're going to do. I'm going to start with some uh, black tying silk. Um, uh, you can use either an 8 aught black or a uh, 6 aught black, whichever you prefer. I'm going to start about an eighth inch back from the eye of the hook. And I'm going to lay a base of thread down. Bring it back almost to the bend. Well, just right, right to the bend. And uh, Snip off the excess thread and continue on back with it. Yeah, right to the bend. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take uh, marabou, uh, some black marabou. Uh, you can either get it like this or you can get the strung marabou, uh, rip a clump of that off, you know, whatever you have. Reach in here and Take a little clump of that off of there. I'm going to try and gauge it as to the, the, the size of the fly that you're, you're tying. I'm going to reach in here and snip some of this off. Even it up a little bit. Good rule of thumb, we're going to take the, the, the hook gap, the shank of the hook, that's about what we're going to use for the tail then. Measure it right up there. Put it in there and grab it between my thumb and index finger. Nice loose wrap on there to start with. Hold it into place. Wash it down. Next thing I'm going to do is instead of clipping the excess off, I'm going to clip a little bit off here just so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, instead of clipping everything off uh, at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work it forward. Just throw a couple loose wraps on it to tie it down. We're going to use that for uh, a little bit of an underbody. That's going to help build up. Uh, that'll put some bulk on it for us. I'm going to reach in here then and. Trim away the excess. Okay. Yeah. Once we do that, I'm going to take and work my thread back then. That's going to give us our underbody. Bring the thread back right to where you lashed in your tail to start. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a couple couple strands of peacock that I have pulled out here. I have four strands of peacock and what I'm going to do is even up my tips. All right. I'm going to tie my tips in. I like to leave a little bit extra, maybe like uh, about a quarter of an inch forward, so that, that'll actually give me enough to lash my material down so that it, it's not going to break off. And, uh, and Peacock is one of the harder materials to work with. It does have the tendency to, to, to break. Next thing I'm going to do is take my hackle pliers. I'll clip my hackle pliers in. And I like to take and 
trim off the ends just so they're not in the way. And I'm going to twist it a little bit. Be very careful when you twist this because it's it's like one of those touchy things. If um, you don't twist it enough, it's going to open up on you. If you twist it too much, it's going to snap on you. Okay, and then we're going to start wrapping. And as I wrap my peacock forward, I want to keep it one, one wrap in front of the other. And as I'm wrapping forward, you want to throw a twist. For each wrap that you bring around, throw a twist into the peacock. And give it a little bit of, little bit of strength. Wrap one in front of the other. Try not to overlap it. And bring it forward. I'm going to stop about where we started our thread. We're going to tie that off. And the two wraps ought to hold it down. We'll trim off the excess. There's our body. The next thing we're going to take is one of the dyed ring neck hackles. And I'm going to reach down to where the fluffy part is. We're going to clean that feather up. We don't need any of that. Peel that off. Shorten up our stem a little bit. This is what we have left. And what we're going to do is we're going to tie this in by the tip. So I want to grab, take my tweezers, I'm going to grab right at the very tip. And I'm going to comb the feathers back. so that my feather looks like this. I'm going to take and snip that off and I'm going to leave just enough on there to use as a tie-in point. I'll lay that on there and a couple wraps to tie that in. Take our hackle pliers I'm going to use about two wraps on here. You can see how the, the, the feather is starting to distort here a little bit. So what I'm going to do is each time I wrap, I'm going to pull back on the, on the feathers. You can see I have the feathers pulling back at a 90 degree angle from me. Fluff them out a little bit. Well, we're going to tie that puppy off right there. It's a little bit thicker stem there, so I'm going to put three wraps on it. Reach in and clip off our excess. A couple of these stragglers that we have facing forward here, we're going to Comb them back. A couple wraps on it to hold those back in place. You can see how those fibers are pointing straight back now. Okay. Now, the tricky part of this whole fly. This is the after shaft that we have, and we have dyed black. This is a very, very fragile feather. Okay. You got to be real careful how you're wrapping it. Okay, but this will give that fly so much movement that unless that fish is asleep, <laughs> he's going to come up and hit that thing. So we're going to take a little bit of the fluff off the bottom of this. Okay. And take and tie it in by the stem. Let's 
snip off that excess. Okay. Take our hackle pliers. And what you want to do is, it, it, it's very, very thin at, at, the, at the tip of this feather. What you can do is you can grab it a little bit further down than the tip of the feather. That'll give you a little bit more stem to work with. And that's still not guaranteeing it's not going to break for you. You start wrapping. You have to get that first wrap on there. Once again, just pull the fibers back. I'm going to put about two wraps on there. I'm going to lash that down. Reach in and clip off the excess. All right, and once we get to fly to this point, any of the stray fibers that we have, we're going to pull back. And we're going to finish off. with a nice head. And give it a little bit of a haircut there. Take our whip finish. Starting at the back of the head. Since you're done, one peacock sparrow. 